Hello! I'm recording this video to present the second version of my private media storage, which is something like a private Google Photos or private OneDrive. Of course, with less features because I'm working alone in it, but uh, eventually it can be enriched with uh, features which are not present in those tools. I started working on my private storage in 2018 and uh, it consisted of a Python backend with a single page application front end built with Vue.js and integrate with Azure storage to store files. Now I created the second version of the tool which uses my own web framework which is always in Python. Uh, it is using TypeScript and React for a single page application front end, and it is integrated with the Azure Active Directory with the latest ways to authenticate. In this demo, I'm going to show you how I log into the system and I add files or create virtual folders. Now I'm loading the page on a virtual folders which exist already, but I would like to show you from the beginning how I can create a new album. and start creating folders into it. My solution is a, features a complete virtual file system, so I can create folders and folders and set folders as one would expect. Inside folders I can upload files it supports both drag and drop from file system or selecting files. In this case, I'm going to show how to upload some pictures. You see a preview of what is going to be uploaded with the size and the file name. First application is uploaded into the storage account and then uh, storing information about virtual files nodes. In the case of pictures, the service is also creating thumbnails and medium-sized pictures and supports a picture gallery, which can be navigated using the keyboard on or mouse wheel. For picture resizing, by the way, I also wrote the library that prepares the pictures in various sizes. I can display files in a table format or gallery view. Eventually I can support also a tree view. I can select files using shift or control. I can use shift and arrows to select files this way. I can move them using cut and paste or copy them using copy, paste. In this case, you see I have the link to the same file into two virtual folders. What I can also do, I can upload videos and uh, music and using audio and video HTML5 controls, I can preview the, the files. So for example, I'm going to show something I already uploaded previously. Here I have some MP3s and I display the audio control to play the mp3s. It's the same for videos. I'm also going to add the resizing of videos the same way as I'm resizing pictures. Of course, I can rename and delete the files. So if I double click, I can rename this element. I can select and delete if I wish. What I'm going to do next is also adding the search feature to look for files, of course, and some additional things I can implement like uh, versioning of files, history of changes, and uh, digital signatures. Something I also want to say is that everything is automated here using GitHub workflows. So when I want to create a new release, I simply start a workflow or create a release in GitHub and it will automatically generate the artifacts and run a deployment to Azure. Also, the services are provisioned automatically using RM templates. The application is integrated with the application insights so I can see the performance of the application 
In this case, I'm showing you the production environment, which is storing loads of the queries run on the Postgres database and operations, which are HTML, uh, HTTP requests. I hope to sell this application or at least to license it. That's why also I'm preparing this video to, to present it. I just need to find uh, good um, collaborators, <laughs> people who can work together with me on this application. So thank you for listening and uh, have a nice day.